Let us all pray silently, meditating on God's words. Help us, help me to be with you, Lord, in the lowest place. As much as I love you, I'll receive your love and help us to re receive answers to our prayers this hour. In Christ, help us to be a blessed person. The problems with our family and all of our problems. Let the miracle of all of it being resolved. Let it be upon everybody here. Those who need power and strength, let them receive power and strength. Let all of their wishes be fulfilled. In the name of Jesus and thankfulness and blessings, I pray. Amen. <clears throat> now, let's sit comfortably. To the person next to us, let's greet them. Let's change our fate. Let's change our destiny. Let's change our fate. Let's change our future uh, destiny. Surely, let's change our destiny. Let's change our fate. Today, the whole world, they talk about different wars. But the problem with society, with even within Korea, is like that as well. Some academic says something. The people who are academics or experts, are they in Christ or outside of Christ? When they're outside of Christ, they're outside of Christ, then they're all in darkness. So each of you, something's not working out for you, you say? So the fact that something's not working out for you, Proverbs 8.17, <clears throat> what's it say? As much as we love him, we will receive from him. In a word, it says that we have not loved him. So whether we love him or not, who knows? Our Father, he knows. He knows it all. So me, to each of you, Daily, the fact that I'm not able to share, sharpen with you every day. There's nothing, there's not anything else. But let me share a testimony. When I'm sweating, how how much I sweat? The in the United States, the tie, neck, my necktie. It was so freezing. They say, oh, you know, but we. It was so freezing outside. They said we couldn't have hold the revival, but we did. But at that time, below the necktie, the, my sweat was dripping from the tip of the necktie. And my sweat was, uh, my shirt was so sweaty. I was wearing uh, uh, clothes like that, and I did the revival. Uh, and they asked me to eat a meal in 15 minutes. I, I don't have time then. I, I, the food doesn't even come out in 15 minutes. In the beginning, they they give some sort of uh, uh, so, uh, vegetables for cows, though uh, like salad. But and then referring to salad. And then by the time the food comes out, it's time to leave. And how can I eat properly? Pastor, in New York to San Francisco, while you're, can't you rest while you're on the flight to San Francisco from New York? And when I go in the flight, they're waiting for me already inside, sitting next to me so that I could, they could talk to me. So I, how could I sleep? Pastor, they say, I came I, I, from Korea to, uh, I landed in the United States. They said, oh, they said, uh, oh, could we do the revival first and we can eat later? And er early morning service, they didn't have it. So, but they didn't have early morning service, but I was sharing the message all the time. This at this church in uh, church in Korea, they said there's five minutes left, but he asked for a sermon, so I shared the sermon. Uh, I preached the sermon, so my body, I couldn't eat properly. I sweat a lot. So now, what kind of time do I spend? We just ate, right? I ate so much I couldn't eat anymore. But, but I'm here as if I didn't eat. So how must I uh, express this? If I just ate, so what's simply what's easiest to eat is noodles. You, you don't need uh, the side dishes. You can just drink it and eat it. When you drink so much liquid, it's hard. It's so full. I can't eat anymore. The person, the moment I stand up, uh, even though I ate, I'm so hungry, like I didn't eat. The moment I stand up, so so then I get dizzy. There's nothing nothing else wrong with me but so then with all of that to, to sharpen each with you then I, I I'm really weak I can't do it properly so what I realize is that God is telling me to rest so that's why I'm resting uh, to be obedient to God's will so so why is the things aren't working out for you uh, even I didn't pray for it but then it pours wealth pours uh, blessings poor, but you say you're praying, but it doesn't work. That's fascinating. God, He's a God of justice. He gives Proverbs 8.12. Let's look that up. God, if you have, you have to have the address for each, then the rest, you have to have the address. If the first thing is that you have to have, if you have the address. So how is it? 
So, so in one well, can you? It's it's a lie. If you say there's clear, clean water and dirty water, no. In one church, if you, they're doing this and that, uh, contradictory. No, God, He is one God. So, some some churches cause factions and divisions, and God says that's worse than dogs. But other churches, they have no divisions within the church in the Bible. What's worse than dogs? The sermon. There's a sermon on that, and yet they don't share that sermon. The fake pastors, they don't share a sermon of people worse than people, what's worse than dogs. But it's in the Bible. So how is it? <clears throat> if we believe in one God, why is how is it? If you're a chosen people, you have to be a chosen people for us to uh, have the high be the high priest and have our prayers answered, but we don't know what a chosen person is. First Peter 2 9. If we have not even become a chosen people, then they they say they're the high priest. So, if you're not a chosen people, there's only curses and calamities. In Korea, there's so many people who say they believe in Jesus and they receive so much calamities and curses. Why? Because outside of Christ, how are we chosen? Only in Christ. How are we chosen and taken? Only in forced repentance we are chosen. So, not even knowing this, and yet they say they share the gospel. Europe, 2,000 years of Christianity, the church is in demise. And, and yet, are we following that? Those who have heard that, and uh, following in their footsteps, Galatians 1, 6 through 10, God is determined outside of Christ, it's all a calamity. It's what God has determined, not us. So those who have demon inside, who are fakes, what do they say? So they say even without Christ, it's, it, it works. No, if you don't have forced that repentance, God's mystery, the 66 books of the Bible has nothing to do with us. Ephesians uh, 2, 12, it's recorded there. God, when is he pleased? Each of you. Pleasing God, that's having faith. That's Romans 14, 18, when is he pleased? When we do forced our repentance, share God's mystery. That's when he's pleased. So you say you're doing forced our repentance, but how is it that you're not able to share that which gives joy to others? If you don't have healing of sickness and disease and with calamities and, and your children are doing worse and worse, our country is facing more and more difficulty because we're outside of Christ. That's happening because we're outside of Christ. Now, Proverbs 8, 12, let's read that. Let's look that up. Proverbs 8, 12. Did we say Proverbs 8? Let's read with one voice. I, wisdom, dwell with prudence, and I find knowledge and discretion. Amen. Each of you, what's it say today? Wisdom. Wisdom. Where's it reside in as the address? So prudence. Oh, no. Uh, just prudence. Wisdom is foremost before Proverbs 4 7, because wisdom is foremost, is supreme. If, if the, uh, the first has the address, then the rest has to have the address. But the fakes, they have no, they share, preach a sermon without address. So if they do without an address, did they obey the word of God or not? And yet they say that's a sermon. Really? They're going to ruin their country. So arrogant yet, these people. God, it was he. The, the wisdom that has the, uh, the that leads to heaven has an address. If the highest has the address, the rest need an address need uh, requires an address as well. And yet they're not able to find the address. Address referring to the chapter and verse of where the uh, words of God is. Without wisdom, we cannot go to heaven. We cannot receive salvation. If you're building, a, if you're building a house just because you have the foundation, doesn't mean you complete it to the to, to the roof. Wisdom. The whole building has to be built for you to have for it to be wisdom. It's quite pitiful, and yet people they don't even say Amen. Why are you sitting here if you're not even able to respond to Amen? Second Corinthians, Second Corinthians, chapter one, verse twenty. Without Amen, you have demon inside. You're killing yourself and your descendants, and you're only harming others. They're, you're wicked. They're, they're wicked. They're the ones without the Amen. Outside of Christ, receiving curses. These are the ones that don't have Amen. To the the foundation, the basics is not done. How do they can they expect to receive blessings? So therefore, these words, all of these words have the have an address. The sermon without an address, without you're listening to it to that. How can you be listening to that? God says there are addresses to the words of God. So how would it work for you? Each of you, if you try to look up without the address, you cannot. So that's why God says, what's very precious, what's most precious, which is wisdom. He says it has an address, so the rest will have an address as well then. Not even knowing that, people 
uh, and that they, these people say they live a life of faith. That's why Luke 15, Luke 18 or Matthew 24, that's why it's very hard to find people to go to heaven. It, did God say that for no reason? No. We have to be at least part of the 12 disciples. We have to go into that. Uh, we have to be part of the eight that was saved in the flood. Why is it that we're going to the, be part of the fake where things don't work out for them? Let's read with one voice. Second Corinthians 1.20 for as many as are the promises of God in him, they are yes. Therefore, also through him is our amen to the glory of God through us. That's uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 20. In where do we receive, say yes, yes, and receive answers to prayers? Through God's mystery, four-step repentance only. Those who have not done four-step repentance, they don't, they're not able to say yes or amen. When they say, don't say yes or amen. So they have not cleansed their sins. Where there is sins, then... First, first John chapter 3, verse 8, where there's sin, the demons attach itself. So how can they say amen when they have demon inside? Why is it things aren't working out for you, for your descendants? Because you have your demon inside and you have not repented that and chased it out. So that's why amen doesn't come forth and things don't work out for you. Let's look at the person next to us and greet them. Do you still not have amen that comes forth from, from you? Are you still not able to say amen? That's so here today. We came here to receive answers to prayers. So if we want to receive answers to prayers, then amen has to come forth. We have to be able to say amen to the word of God. Do you say amen? We have to be, amen has to come forth. We have to go into Christ where amen has to come forth to the word of God. Those who have not done four-step repentance and they say amen, where did they learn lies like that? So only in Christ do we say amen. So Christ, Colossians chapter 1, verse 27, Christ is the mystery of Christ. It's four-step repentance. So if they're not even done for their repentance and uh, where did they come from they're denying the bible saying amen without even being in christ without doing for their repentance people who are tired who are weary, sometimes it's so difficult and when at that time you say oh i, I perish i perish with that with that mindset then even though you're so uncomfortable and frustrating uh, frustrated then something leaves your body all of your own own uh, own, own uh, worldly wills Something goes out from your body and you end up going the path of Jesus, the path of being a lamb. Those who don't haven't haven't experienced this won't know it. When you're tired and you just and you and you sleep. Romans 8 5, your body is an enemy of God. You, your body is even more stiff. If you have the mindset, if I perish, I perish while you're kneeling and praying. And when your uh, leg is really hurt hurting, and and sometimes when you're um, sitting so uncomfortably while you're kneeling, and then and you barely sleep when you, when you doze off 10 20 minutes and it's it's better than having a good night uh, having a long sleep those who have experienced this only those who have experienced this will know this if you think sleep lying down you you're really you think it's better but it actually doesn't relieve your tiredness it may be so uncomfortable when you're sleep kneeling but those who really who have done this know that the 10 20 minutes dozing at that time is much more refreshing if you have gone into Christ you say amen to the word of God in Christ. We say amen to the word of God. If we're in Christ, who, who is there? God is there. Second Corinthians 5.19, when we are in Christ, there's only God, there's God. Because there is God. The God's words, John 1.1, 1, 1, when we say amen to the word of God, then miracles happen. Each of you, this evening, we came here to receive answers to prayers. So God, however, so he's, he was tor tortured, he used the uh, lepers who was ignored and not, not the generals. He ended up being, they end up being trampled. The, not those who are so, uh, they learn a little bit of worldly education, they pretend to know so much. I heard the news today, it was so strange. They say, they, they said something and then they said, oh, I, was, I said it wrong. They said it and then they say that I said it wrong. And they're asking for forgiveness by their own mouth they say it by their own mouth they regret it because what's inside is speaking what's what's sitting inside you oh, it's all demons we, when we cleanse with the blood of christ and it's the holy spirit so therefore each of you inside you you have demon inside you live life not even knowing that fact dog and pig does it know that they have demon inside no it doesn't uh, the herd of Swines, the demon goes inside. It, it fell off the cliff and when it uh, drowned in the water, it doesn't know. The cow, why do they have uh, uh, bovine disease? Why is it if the 
Why is it that we can't eat chickens that are diseased? Why? Because it'll we'll be infected by it. It'll come transfer to us. That's why dogs, pigs, Ecclesiastes 3.18, uh, all the animals, we're just like them. We're just like the beast and the animals. So, because, so inside a beast, the demons can go in. So all of a sudden, the animal can all of a sudden uh, acts up and eats and mauls the uh, the people. So a lot of trainers die. What? Elephant, the circus, there's so many times where people get tramp trampled by the elephant and die. Because the demons acts, uh, acts up, then that, that kind of really happens. First Samuel 16, 14, who does that? God does that. So what must you and I do? What will you and I do? We have to do, be blessed and do well. We have to be ones who solve the problem. Not only do we solve problems, we receive all the, pro the power and strength to help save our descendants as well. And we are here to receive that blessing. Do you say amen? So, the, the herbal medicine is very expensive, yet people spend a lot of money to buy that. This great thing, this word of God, it's so good. They don't I have to discern an ethos. Korea, Korea, without Christ, it's a fake message. Without the address of the word, it's it's a fake message. Colossians 2 8, God has recorded it, and yet people listen to the message without Christ, and they're sitting there listening to the sermons. It's quite pitiful. The word of truth. Why is it that you're not able to discern? But they they tell lies and they or they preach lies and people don't say anything. Who's worse than dogs? Those who have demon inside. Those without the Holy Spirit. They're they're worse than dogs. Who else are people? Who else are people worse than dogs? Who? No, oh, the way it's just way in the back. I said I'll say it, but they forgot the two things in the front. If I talk about the things in the back first, so let's look that up. Jude one nineteen. Jude one nineteen. Let's look that up. Those who are worse than dogs. Let's see who they are. God says they're worse than dogs. God has said it. It's not what we have said. It's what God has determined. So therefore, those who are worse than dogs. How is it that they're sharing and preaching? Why is it that they leave those who are preaching who are worse than dogs? It's quite pitiful. Religion, people ask. The you. Religion in Europe, is, did they not have Jesus? No, by their mouth they say Jesus so many times. But why is it that things aren't working out for them? They, inside them, they don't know how to re, uh, re, revive their conscience. Other religions, they don't have conscience. Finding our conscience, we can only do it through the blood of Christ. The blood of Christ, we only through the mystery of God. Hebrews 9, 14 through 15. We, God's mystery for step repentance. If we don't have that, we don't become a proper human being. People, you, you're a per, you can be a person that's like a beast, however. Jude one nineteen. These are the ones who cause divisions, worldly-minded, devoid of the Spirit. Amen. In verse 18, those, and Job 30, verse 1, who are worse than dogs, those who cause factions and divisions in the church, those who are of the flesh, they criticize others, they, they have jealousy and envy and and accuse others of being heretic. They accuse others, and they have not cast out the, the demons in them, so they don't have the Holy Spirit. They're worse than dogs. God has recorded it here. Now, are you not the one who is that person who is in that position? So then each of you, saying the righteous words, the rightful things, have you done it? You haven't, so that's why that's arrogance. First Timothy chapter 6, 3, 4, 5. If you don't say the right, full of righteous words, then that's arrogance. If you're arrogant, if you're not saying the words that's according to the word of God, then that's righteous, that's uh, that's wicked and evil, that's, they're foolish. Proverbs 13, 22, if you prepare a meal and don't eat it, then you're you're a fool. So you're doing well now, you may say, even a few years ago, they, there was a rumor, I mean, it was rumors that our country next door was doing so well. They weren't. That's not doing well. How must we live today? You, you and I. God. What is he telling us now? Who is God? And who is Jesus Christ? Who is the same as God? God? Where did God say to fight and argue? Where did God say to criticize and judge others? Where, where, did, where does it say? Where did God say that things won't work out? When will God harm us? Where does it say that? It says he'll destroy us and kill us. Of course, if we do the things worthy of death, then he'll destroy us. Yes. Deuteronomy 7.10. If we hate him, then he will destroy us. If we, Deuteronomy 7.10, if we hate him, uh, then he'll kill us, destroy us. 
because we kill, uh, hate him and destroy. That's why uh, he will destroy us and kill us. But if we love him, why would he destroy us? You and I. In this vigil service, Genesis 32, me falling to ruins, my children falling to ruins, my household falling to ruins, uh, killing all my employees and ruining my family, re reviving that, ruining my household, reviving that. That's this vigil service, this gospel to others. God says with our mouth. God did not say just with your mouth uh, and say believe in Christ, be believe in God. But when they see Matthew 5, 16, when you do well, others will follow. We have to be witnesses of this to see, and receive the blessings to be a witness. We're here to receive this blessings and soul as well. To receive this blessing <coughs> to say amen. So we have to be a witness by us doing well and then they'll follow you. So it'll be done to you according to your wishes this evening. Why is it things aren't working out for you? You you have demon inside. You're not even able to say amen. How can things work out for you or for your descendants? How can you expect things to go be better and better? So isn't that incredible that you're expecting that? So you want to be popular, you do something to be popular, Popular, I can do that as well. But before God, I'll be punished right away. If you try to do things, say things, preach so that you'll be popular, Matthew 10, 20, those who have demon inside, they have to write a sermon note and read it. Those who have the Holy Spirit inside, there's not first or second. If God says first do this and second do that, then you'll do it. But outside of that, we don't have that. So that speaker, no matter, even if it's a German expensive speaker, it only speaks what the owner speak. The speaker says. You know, the speaker, the speaker itself doesn't say anything. Only what the 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 person speaking says. If you have, if you have the Holy Spirit inside you, then you God. If you have, why is it that you're not able to discern those with the Holy Spirit? God uses their lips. Those who don't have the Holy Spirit, they have to write notes and preach a sermon, reading it. So you'll do well even now. Let you say, let's have a new beginning. You have all sorts of things, uh, proverbs, but without four step repentance, we have all sorts of sayings, but you have no new beginning without four step repentance. A uh, paint, just because you uh, used, take a used I uh, item and paint it new doesn't make it new. No, you can't use it. Only in Christ, He makes us a new person. You don't say amen, amen doesn't come forth. You have demon inside. They're, they haven't died, they want to go to heaven and they don't want uh, uh, calamity with their children. And they have all sorts of greed of wanting to do well, it, yet Amen is not even coming forth. They're just sitting there. When I see people like that, things aren't working out, out for them, and yet they're clever on the, in their own mind. So God says, well, you, when when blessings come, you'll just be trampled. First, first King, chapter 7. No, Second King, chapter 7. God uses the lepers instead. Second King chapter 7, where must you and I go? We be, if we believe in God, do we become lepers? No, if we are humble as a leper, then God will exalt us to the highest place. The highest place is also the place of the leper. So the place of a leper, when you are most humble, it's not that you can't, it's useless. So when I'm foolish and to the lowest place, then God will exalt you to the highest place. So then you and I, something's not working out, you may say. The way for things to do well, it's not difficult. It's so easy, yet, but you don't listen. Between husband, between husband and wife, between us, husband and wife, you're in the same, you live in the same era, same circumstance and situation there. Matthew 19, 4, 5, they're not two bodies, one body in this life, this kind of life. One will die with curses and calamities from God. One receiving blessings. This in the Word of God, what He gives to us. It's the promise that He gives to us. So each of you, what kind of circumstances and situations are you from? Those who are doing well to do even better. Those who are, are falling to ruins so that they can do well. God, when did He make it so that we can't do well? When did He say that He won't? He can't help us and He won't help us? It's all bound so that it can work. But when things are working out for you, you're bound by your own thoughts. That means you're, you're going the path of being a servant of the demon. From then on, you don't say amen. And then they're just so stiff. And yet, they're killing their descendants. They're ruining their descendants and ruining their whole own life. And they're very dirty individual who have no blessings late in, in their later years. And yet, they say that they're not. They didn't do it. They're not responsible for it. Those people, they don't really have blessings. So whatever they do, things don't work out. They're um, between spouse. They have bad relationships. When you look at them, they live by their own thoughts. No matter whatever it is, your own thoughts. Is it in Christ or outside of Christ? Until you kneel before Christ, until you come into Christ, God will make you suffer. 
2 Corinthians 10, verse 5 and 6. Why suffer and continue to go outside of Christ? Why are you bound by your own worldly thoughts and worldly, and by, by your own theories by, and by your own thoughts? That's why God is telling us this gospel. It's, well, if you're going to just do it with your mouth, then don't do it. 1 Thessalonians 1, 5, that's by words, by, by what we say only. How is it that in the mass communication, there's only words that come forth. There's no power. How is that a sermon? It doesn't match up with the Bible at all, with the words in the Bible. It's a very big problem. It's, yet people are so arrogant. Nobody nobody says anything about it, however. So that's that. We should, re we should receive blessings. We can receive blessings. 1 Samuel 25, verse 38 to 39. Let's read those two verses. The pastors now, so somebody says things aren't working out for them. The people who, for whom things are not working out, when you see, they're at some weird place. They're at some foolish place. They're at a place of foolishness. Please, they're in a state of foolishness. They're in a state of foolishness. Let's not, let's not go the path of suffering. We say we believe in God. The people who believe in God, how is it that they don't know how to hear the voice of God? Oh, you go to church and the, the pastor is sharing sermon uh, bible if they do the, the sermon without the mystery of god then it's killing themselves proverbs 26 9 and they go around listening to that as a sermon considering that a sermon they're the ones that cause factions and division they're worse than dogs what is it first they, they make factions and divisions jude 1 19 we read that and we're still like that those who are worse than dogs where do you receive salvation where does it say that so, if they're worse than dogs, people who are worse than dogs, if there's no Holy Spirit, they, they say they're of the flesh wherever they go. They will we'll find, we'll have arguments. Europe, 2,000 years of Christianity, they believe in Jesus. They built so many things with marble, the church with marbles, and, and yet they did so many bad things. The government supported them when the king supported them. What's well, the kings believe in. Uh, they sided with the with the with the church, and they did so many bad things. And yet, why is it that people don't go to church anymore? There in Europe, no matter how much, no matter the, even if the kings kings supported the church, they built cathedral with marble, but they don't have the mystery of Christ. So it's all curses. It doesn't work out. No matter how much they look, and it doesn't work. So who's the fool that would go to church? Things don't work out for them. Uh, a thousand years, and then it doesn't work. So these days, hardly anybody goes to church. That's how it, the church is in decline there. That's Europe. Why? Korea, foolishly, why would we follow in their footsteps? They're in demise. Two thousand years, they tried. It didn't work. Why follow in that path? So... Please, each of you, let's be, let's live, let's be made alive, let's solve our problems and do well and live, and let's do even better and live. What problem do you have? Your problem with your children? You have sickness or disease? Let's read with one voice, verse 38 and verse 39. About ten days later, the Lord struck Nabal and he died. When David heard that Nabal was dead, he said, "Blessed be the Lord who has pleaded the cause of my reproach from the heart, from the hand of Nabal, and was and has kept." back his servant from evil. The Lord has also returned the evil doing of Nabal on his own head. Then David sent a proposal to Abigail to take her as his wife. Amen. Now, because of time, due to time, constraint, we read these two verses. So when you have time, you should read before and after, the verses before and after. So what's it saying here? Each of you, God, this vigil service, Midnight service, you're going to die now. Now, your wife, how many wives do you have? They'll all die. They'll all be destroyed. Your children and your employees will all be destroyed. Your wealth will all be destroyed. Even you're in this situation and circumstance through this vigil service, you can be made alive. You can be revived. We're here to receive these blessings. We, according to this, the Word of God, we want these blessings to be ours. Deuteronomy 32 and 33, this blessing is making it ours. How? Through vigil, midnight service. What did he do with vigil service? Midnight service, no matter what prayer it is, when you do four-step repentance, four-step prayer, four-step repentance ends with thanksgiving. That's God's will for us. That's God's will. So we read this. So 1 Thessalonians 5.18, let's 
go to there, to each of you. What's living a life of faith? It's thanksgiving, giving thanks. According to God's will, it's giving thanks and having thanksgiving. So here, when Amen doesn't even come forth, you have how can thanksgiving come forth? That's 100% a lie. That, no matter who it is, the Amen, when the, the um, when they're not saying amen, later when we meet them, they're two-faced, double-minded. When amen isn't coming forth, those kind of people, when I say something, I look them. And when God, when I, when God orders me, I just, and I just, uh, uh, leaving your children and yourself to, uh, and people to die and go the path of curse, leaving them. Is that love? Why is it that things aren't working out for you? Then. I rebuke, I rebuke them earlier. He says, God says, He'll destroy us. If we don't follow according to these words, He'll destroy us. But when we do according to His words, He'll save us. He'll take all the money away. If, if we don't listen to His words, when we listen to His words, He'll give us all the wealth. First, first Samuel 2, 6, He says, He'll, he'll make us sick and have put demon inside us. But when, conversely, if we hear His words, then He'll take demons away. He'll heal us. That's God's promise to us. Earlier, he quoted 1 Corinthians 10.10, 10, this place, things aren't working out for you. The, suffer, the fact that you're suffering, why do you get go to a hospital? To get healed. To get. So here, right now, no matter what circumstance and difficulty you're facing, God will resolve it for us. Our Father. Why is it things aren't working out for us? We have to have realization of the Word of God. We have to then let it work according to the Word of God. This is a church. The Word of God is alive and will do its works. Works. Let's read with one voice. First, First Corinthians five eighteen. No. First Thessalonians five eighteen. In everything, give thanks, for this is God's will for you in Christ, in Christ Jesus. If you live a life of faith, you have to live according to the will of God. People talk about the will of God. That's giving thanksgiving. It's recorded here. No matter what circumstances situation you're in, that you should give thanksgiving. So it's here. First Samuel chapter 25, why does it say that in the Old Testament? Here it talks about a husband and wife. There's a Nabal, Nabal, and there's wife, Abigail. But the, the husband and wife, Matthew 19, 4, 5, they're one body. But between husband and wife, they're one body. But God, Jehovah God, He destroys him, kills him. But conversely, but one person, He gives thanksgiving, and she's made alive. She lives. So here, you and I, we came here so that we can live, be made alive. The, to help save our, ourselves and our descendants and our children and to help save our country. We're here to help save our, our, even our country, ourselves, our family, and our country. So us living a life of faith, it's not that it's so difficult. So it's not, he, wants, he gives us only great things. He wants us to only have good things. So you and I, your body, your health is not good, you may say. Now let's see here these days. It says in the news, the woman, when they're over 50 years old, they have some sort of uh, uh, weakness, people, and the, and the, at the end, they, more than 50, that they start to have a certain type of disease. The people who research every day, that's what they shared in the news, but strangely, recently, this, but they can have uh, that kind of sickness er, on, onset early from 10, 12 years old. That's a calamity, curses, curse. But God says, Proverbs 19.23, that kind of curse and calamity, when you do force our repentance, He'll erase that. He'll re we're here to receive that blessings. He'll let us avoid it and erase it. We he do you say amen that we should receive that blessings? Force our repentance, so it's so great. Why? God's mystery, it's so great. Why is it that people don't want to do this? It's very unfortunate, these people. So each of you, what is forced up repentance? You and I, God's will. Thanksgiving does come, come forth, which is God's will. That's why we have sickness and disease, because we're not thankful. Because we're not thankful, that's why our business is fa failing. We're not thankful. That's why we don't have good relationship with our spouse. We're not thankful. That's why our children are giving, causing heartaches. That's the problem, is that we don't have Thanksgiving. What do we do with this Thanksgiving? To do what? So that it'll be done according to our wishes. Why? That's why we give Thanksgiving. The, the last step of forced repentance, that's why it's for uh, Thanksgiving. Matthew 23, uh, 12, 39, 40, 41. Thanksgiving is a sign that I have to give you. Uh, miracles happening through four step repentance, through Thanksgiving. When do we give Thanksgiving? Jonah chapter 2, verse 9. We give Thanksgiving to the Lord. Then in verse 10, Jehovah, he will even use the fish. 
Did you, are you, uh, is your life in ruins? He'll save us again. We here receive this blessing. So therefore, what must we do? Just thanksgiving. God's will for, is, is to, for us to give thanksgiving. So that's what we should do. Are you really th giving thanks? Are you really thankful? Even when you examine yourself, I said, oh, when I was in school, you know, I wanted to be a, a driver, but our father, so then I, I wanted to be a driver, but now I became a wrench. People, they're so, but because of my father, I became a wrench. They're not a, the people are not thankful. My mother, she said, oh, as I live life, you know, don't go to a short person. I went to a, I went to a, she said, go married with a, a tall person. Now I ruined my life because, you know, he was a little bit short, but, you know, he's living well now, but the, 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 there are people who then have no thanksgiving because of that. Now, don't just look for that. The people, no, similarly, those who complain and grumble about their father or their mother, is that thanksgiving? Is that giving thanks? No. So therefore, do you receive answers to prayers or not? Now you know. Now you have answered that. It doesn't. So this evening, we have to all receive answers to prayers. No matter what problem it is, we have to receive answers to prayers. Do you say amen? We have to receive answers to prayers. Now, some people say, they say, they did this or that. That I could not even get a, a advanced degree or a PhD, or is that thanks, giving thanks, or is that gr grumbling and complaint? You know, now it's grumbling and com com complaint. Thanksgiving is God's will for us. God, so just because you have a PhD or a person who's a minister, did God use them, or did God use the lepers? No, you know, God used even the lepers. So what is it then now? When you, when I ask you, you know the answer, but you're not receiving answers to your prayers. What is that? In other, in other words, you have learned. You learn, learn with your head knowledge. Let's, we have to eat this nourishment, Christ, with our heart. With let's give thanksgiving with our heart. The word of God has to come into our heart. Let's give thanksgiving with our heart. So, let us properly do four step repentance, and inside of us, we have to give thanksgiving. Not that we memorize four step repentance and give thanksgiving, that's of no use, each of you. So the person that lives in thanksgiving, who who do they get frown to and make people hurt? No. When I'm thankful, when now you may say, Pastor, as you live life in this world, no matter no matter which experts they'll say there are times when we feel good or bad, there's times when we're thankful or not. No, that's the words with from people who have demons, those people, the words from people who have curses and calamities, but we, that's why Matthew 5, 44, 45, we have to love, we love even our enemies. That's having faith, loving even, be, being able to love our enemies, being able to even love our enemies, that's having faith. When, how can we, how can we love them? When we really do four step repentance, we realize they're not our enemies. What if, so it's an amen that we, we are thankful in all cir circumstances. Did God not know? That's why he says to be thankful in 99.9% .9 of the time. No, God says to be thankful in all si situations and circumstances. Let's greet the person next to us. Let's have thankfulness from deep in our heart. Let's have thankfulness from, in our, from our heart. Thankfulness from our heart. Thankfulness from deep within our heart. A genuine thankfulness. That's, now, that's the case. Between husband and wife? Between one husband and wife? We're talking of not some sort of histor historical fact, but David, he lived there according to God's words. He, li he lived life giving benefit to others, even those who, who reared animals so that people can't steal the animals, so, not, so that not uh, fierce animals could not come and eat the animals, and, uh, hunt the animals. So he lived uh, life benefiting others, but conversely, you know, when there's a festival that he would be fed, uh, uh, he would eat a bowl of noodles there, for example. So in the house of Nabal, he sent them. He, he was insulted and, and uh, sent back and was insulted. His people were uh, insulted and sent back. David said, I should go and destroy them all. But each of you, when it, if you're thoroughly doing forced star repentance and God moves you, when you obey, then you will not lose out. You will not be shortchanged. That's why. Uh, so therefore, God, he wanted to destroy him. But the wife, heard the rumors. Abigail heard that rumor and said quickly and and greeted David with a thanksgiving. But Nabal, he was uh, drunk and he, he he didn't have thanksgiving. He was just a drunkard. 
So each of you, if something's not working out for you, you have not properly done four step repentance. You don't have true thanksgiving. That's why even to our youth members, when they don't have thanksgiving, I'm, I say so they're going to fall into ruins. When you give thanksgiving, they have miracles, uh, mir blessings of mir miraculous blessings. When we are not thankful, we have to die. So here today, David, God did according to uh, David did according to what God moved him. But the wife, after she, uh, Abigail, the wife to the to the uh, her husband Nabal, David's going to come kill you. But I blocked it by giving that he after he was awake. So in verse 37. He, it says he was drunk after he was uh, sober he was so surprised and he was stiff and then he was so stiff and after 10 days in 10 days who jehovah killed him who died after he died in verse 39 what's it say david so those who did bad to him i did not i, I did not have to avenge, uh, revenge my enemies jehovah god he did it Jehovah God, those people who die early, Jehovah God repays them. Those who criticize, they'll have headaches. God will destroy them. God says he'll do it all. So that's where Romans 12, 19, our enemy. God who repays our enemies. God takes vengeance. Those who give thanksgiving, to Abigail who gave thanksgiving, the husband died. She's a big problem. But the best, uh, the best, he ended up going, she ended up going to David, to the being a spouse to the best which is uh, Jesus Christ, that spouse to, to the king, David. So here today, we have to receive answers to prayers. Our problem, problem with our family, our children, our country. We have to receive answers to all those problems. You say amen. You say amen. So here today, the fact that Thanksgiving isn't, com isn't coming forth it, within me, let's change it to Thanksgiving through forced step repentance. This is God's will for us. Elementary school, it will work. Even though you didn't graduate from elementary school, it will work. You don't have money, it will work for you. Even if you're old, it will work for you. Male or female, it will work for you. Uh, whites or blacks, it will work for you. No matter who it is, no matter what religion it is, you, you try other religions. You when it doesn't come, when it doesn't work, come, God says, because He says He's Almighty. He says, come to this faith. What's not... Why is it people bow to uh, rocks? How frustrated they might be. How things aren't working out for them. They're bowing to moons. Those who are ignorant, c frustrated, combined. Th even those people, when things don't work out for them, they'll seek where things will work out. This, uh, God says He is God Almighty. Genesis 17, 1, He's God Almighty. First Samuel chapter 2, verse 6, He is the one that kills and makes alive. He does it. Even our descendants, He, can, he does it all for us. He, Giving demons, putting demons inside us, taking it out, he does it. Giving us sickness, healing us, he does it. Poor and rich he makes, he does it. He who does all of that and makes all of that. When things aren't working out elsewhere, you know, when things really aren't working out, then come to me finally and he will make things work out for us. So today we have to receive answers to prayers. Receiving answers to prayers. What, why is it that we don't receive answers to prayers? Because we don't have thanksgiving. What's not having thanksgiving? Not have a, th a thankful heart. Why is it that you don't have a thankful heart? You don't have thanksgiving? The people who depart, these people who depart from Korea, they say, "Oh, I hate the politics here." Whether you, what, regardless of the politics, if you don't have thankfulness in your heart, you're the one with the problem. You and your descent, your children will have problems. Even though you depart, you should have a thankful heart wherever you go. You should have a thankful heart. That's God's will for us. So whether you emigrate or not, so it's not what I'm saying about that, but whether you go and emigrate or not, people talk about, you know, they talk about the education system being bad, the political system bad. No, you have to still be thankful. This is God's will for us. We have to be thankful. What is it that's blocking you? Your blessings? Why is it that you have not done four-step repentance? That's why with no thanksgiving, what's, what's tormenting you? Living a life of faith? It's not difficult. It's not that it takes time. Even now, it, you just have to change it into thanksgiving. So those people who don't have smiles, they're holding on to something. They, they are harming themselves, or they're grumbling about somebody else. Or when I just examine, when I look at people, whoever it is, when I meet them, that person, I, when you say, don't believe in Jesus, just by saying that doesn't mean things don't work out for them. Those people who say that, they don't have God's mystery. They don't even know forced repentance themselves. They're worse than dogs. They're in some sort of factions and divisions. It doesn't work for like that. It doesn't work for them. What works for them? What's inside them? Those 
the fact that what you see inside others, they have a, they, they have a, they, they have an anger because they have not forgiven others, and they have they have demon inside them because they have, have an unforgiving heart. When you resolve that, they change their faiths. Do helping this, that's living a life of faith. That's sharing the gospel. Do you say amen? When you're able to share their, realize their sins and point it out to them. So, the, so today, when I go somewhere, I say grandma or teacher, and the, the fact that you have a frustrated heart in the past, you hated somebody in the past, they say, oh, what good is it to talk about it now? It's uh, so much time has passed. They say, but it's still inside you. Things aren't working out for you, for your descendants, the third and fourth generations. You don't have blessings in your life. You're gonna get all sorts of sickness. So, and yet they say, oh, what good is it now? They say, you tell them to believe in Jesus. No need to say that. Just help resolve what's tying them up. Whoever it is that they have an enemy, even though they're all wrapped up in that and unforgiving, you just have to resolve it. That's how I evangelize. I don't even say things like believe in Jesus. They say, Lord, their heart through prophetic understanding, let me uh, reveal the past through the blood of Christ. Let me cleanse it and that uh, that they can forgive so that they can and they can be forgiven and have a cleansing heart. When I pray intercessory prayer and I'm speaking with them, th then they that all that happens. Usually, those who are older, you know, they have an um, unforgiving heart with their children. They're hurt by their children. You know, they, the father passed away early. You know, I reared the son my, uh, by myself, my son and daughter, and they end up being an, an enemy with their children, and they have an unforgiving heart. So when you resolve, and when you re help them realize and resolve that, then, then they'll come towards believing in God. They say, they say, believe in Jesus. No. This, you believe. They say, hey, you know, I don't see anything working. When I when I go somewhere, I don't say believe in Jesus. Just, uh, just, you know, Jesus, he didn't say, oh, believe in Jesus. I'm Jesus. He says, are you hungry? He fed them. Are you sick? He healed them. He says, why is it? Th be thankful. Change everything and resolve everything through Thanksgiving. Through Thanksgiving, let's resolve all of our issues and problems. All of our, the things that haven't worked out through Thanksgiving, let's resolve it. Do you say amen? Let's resolve it all through Thanksgiving now. Let's resolve it. Let's unravel. Let's, when you do four step repentance, it will work out. Those people who don't know, before four step repentance, no matter what enemy, they forgive. They say, uh, they resolve it all. They say, oh, I forgive you, even your enemies. So what is it? When you look here today, the, the hus husband who's next to me, I married him. And I th at that time, we all had jealousy and envy, but uh, I, in less than a month, then the fact that she hit me, I, I remember that he slapped me. Forgive them. Whatever it is, forgive. Whatever it is, forgive. With Thanksgiving, change it all, change it all to Thanksgiving. Do you say amen? Here today, those who are sick, amid this Thanksgiving, be healed. Those who are poor, receive wealth as a blessing. Those who need power and strength, receive that. Let it be done according to your wishes. It will all be done according to your wishes through Thanksgiving. Miracles happen. Giving Thanksgiving, God's will for us. Through this Thanksgiving, let's have our wishes fulfilled. Let us pray. Father, you're truly so good. My problems. I thought that I had this incredible problem, but through this blood of Christ, when we do force our repentance and give thanksgiving, I may not know, Lord, you said for us to give thanksgiving, so I just blanketly forgive others and give thanksgiving. Father God, today, those who are sick, let them be healed. Those, let miracles happen according to your words. The children, their personality, please correct them and heal them and fix it. Fix them from Satan the demon. Help us be freed from that, from being in the snare of the devil. Is it economic problems we have? Help us to change it into a blessings. Is it problems with our business? Let us do, let them do even better. From what, what circumstances and situation they're in, let them do even better. Father, help us to give only thanksgiving. Help us do four-step repentance and give thanksgiving. If you don't know, starting from thanksgiving, let's start. 
So give thanksgiving. Father God, let their wishes be fulfilled. According to God's will, Jesus Christ, you have fulfilled it. God's will. According to Hebrews chapter 10, God's will, Jesus Christ, this four-step repentance, let us have four step repentance, have him indwell in our heart and turn every problem into answers. Father, the scars we have in our heart, the hurt we have in our heart, help it to be healed and cleansed without any trace. Let this moment be a new beginning in our a time of new beginning in our life. Help us to receive wealth and help help us to receive health as a blessings and help us receive answers to prayers and all of our problems. Let it be resolved today with thanksgiving, like Jonah in the belly of the fish. The miracle of Jonah coming out from the belly of the fish. Let that miracle be ours. Let the, let their our bless, let their blessings be upon our children to ten hundred hundred thousand generations. Help us to be contributors to our country and to our society and to our people. Help us to be individuals who can share this thanksgiving to our descend, descendants in the name of Jesus. I pray with thankfulness and blessings. I pray, Amen. Let's cry out to the Lord three times with thanksgiving. Let's receive answers to prayers. Let us begin, Lord, Lord, Lord this country and for this people and for myself and for our descendants and our children and for our neighbors and for the leaders and the politicians help us to all pray help us to pray help us to all have answer let them all receive answers to their prayers let their let their wishes be fulfilled with thanksgiving through thanksgiving let their wishes be fulfilled <laughs> 